How to deep clean your ears. In most cases, the best way for you to keep the insides of your ears clean is to leave them alone. A little earwax is in fact a good thing. But if you do have excessive wax buildup, there are some generally safe methods for cleaning, like removing wax from outside of your ears and introducing a safe liquid into your ear, that you can try at home. Otherwise, seek the help of a doctor. Taking a cautious approach. Make sure that you don't have an infection. Cleaning your ears while you have an infection can be very painful and is not a good idea. Consider an infection if you are having symptoms such as earaches, smelly discharge, or ringing in your ears. Leave your ear canal alone. For the majority of people, this is really all you need to do. Don't pour or stick anything into your ear, and don't try to scrape anything out. The human ear is designed to be self-cleaning, and earwax flows outward to facilitate this process. So, in almost all cases, there is no reason to go digging around in there. Earwax lubricates, hydrates, and offers some protection to the delicate components of the ear canal. It also possesses antibacterial properties, and naturally carries nasty stuff out of your ear canal. 3. The ear canal's skin and hair help direct wax out of the ear. Additionally, chewing and other jaw motions help push wax outward. Put down the cotton swabs. Cotton swabs e Q -tips, are great for cleaning a million different little things, except for your ears. Using a cotton swab, or a rolled up napkin corner, etc. to clean your ears will probably just push earwax down further toward your eardrum. Even worse, because of the thin skin and sensitive components inside your ear, you can easily cause punctures or other damage. Most cases of impacted earwax are caused by ill-advised cleaning methods that push wax down against the eardrum. Clean the outside of your ear. If you want to get rid of ear wax, wait until it emerges from your ear canal. Then, wipe it and the rest of your ear with a soft, moist cloth or cotton ball. You can even use those cotton swabs, that you stopped sticking into your ear, to get to all the nooks and crannies on the outer part of your ear. Basically, only worry about cleaning the parts of your ear you can see in the mirror. Recognize signs of impaction. Ceramin earwax impaction almost always happens due to human habits, like regularly sticking foreign objects, including cotton swabs, hearing aids, earbuds, earplugs, or a stethoscope, into your ears. If you develop an earwax impaction, you'll probably use terms like clogged, full, or plugged up to describe the feeling in your ear. Wax buildup on the eardrum can also cause muffled hearing or even progressive hearing loss. Other common symptoms of impaction include earaches, ringing in the ears, tinnitus, ear canal itchiness, discharge that may smell foul, and coughing spells. See your doctor for impaction removal. In most cases, your doctor will use some combination of irrigation and manual extraction to remove impacted earwax. Any pain should be minimal, and you will probably feel the difference and possibly notice improved hearing almost immediately. Many of the symptoms of ceramin impaction can also indicate ear infections or other serious conditions that your doctor can diagnose and treat. <laughs>